Hi everyone, welcome to Southern Sustenance. We're going to talk to you today about how to install some lawn and I'll try to make it quick because it's a bit wet. So just a bit of an intro, six months ago I installed about 20 square meters of uh, Tiff Tough lawn. It turned out pretty good during the warmer weather, it looks a bit dabby now. Mostly because the people that were here, they scalped it, trying to get ready for an inspection, trying to make it a bit of a, more of a rectangle. So just installed some more. I'll take you through briefly how to prepare the soil and then how to install the turf. So had some footpaths put in, uh, as you can see, other than the mechanical tools required for that, the rest of preparing the soil is all done by hand. So uh, using forks and spades and mattocks and the like trying to remove rocks and debris from the, the fork um, is probably your best bet. It is hard work, but all that happens is when when you dig into the soil, it can pull out chunks of of the uh, paiku without it breaking all apart in, into many pieces. So try to take it all out so it doesn't come through the new lawn that you put down. Um, so forks, very important. Then what you do is, uh, and I'll put pictures into this video so you can see, trying to put some gypsum down uh, to break up the clay and then some sandy loam and try to mix it all together. Maybe a bit of slow release fertilizer. Uh, the great thing about this particular lawn, the Stunray, is it doesn't require the fertilizer. Uh, so it's a very good thing. But nonetheless, I'll just put some down because uh, I've got it. <laughs> so that's getting the saw ready. And I try to go to the, the depth of the uh, garden fork and frogs. Then you use the uh, lawn square a little bit, just try to make it even and to try to make the slope flow away from the house. That's pretty important so the lawn doesn't go up to the house. But the other thing to mention is using a lawn spreader to tear the lawn down. So uh, essentially the process is you wet the soil underneath it, uh, you wet the lawn, you put the lawn on top, you wet it again, but as you're doing that you're tamping it down and you're trying to focus to tamp it down on the edges because you want that good contact happening and you want it to be even so you know if it's a bit if it's a bit harder then you know you use your use your boot, boots tamp it down and yeah just focusing and trying to minimize those edges so the lord has that good contact so you can take better when you're adding the lawn into existing lawn like i've done you've got to try to just uh, make it like an inch or so lower just so it's not higher than the original lawn. Um, ideally you do this all at once. I'm pretty busy so I just do here and there when I'm around. Now installing the lawn. Um, so tips, yeah try to get your lawn fresh uh, but when you install it you know you, you try to get the lawn bumped up together so there are some gaps here but yeah you try to try to make it um, as close to you as you can and you could just use a spade or just even um kitchen knife to cut into the uh to the pieces to make them all fit like a jigsaw and you want to stagger them so you don't see lines and so they don't slip down and all that sort of stuff so all all this is seven meters i really only needed um six square meters but i ordered a bit extra just in case the original one six months old the one i've just laid uh you know i've laid it the beginning middle of winter lots of rain so when i'm away it'll survive um, so yeah that's just a uh, quick and dirty on how to do it all not that i sell uh tiff tough or anything like that but i like this lawn because it's, it's real fine leaf and you know this is this is a couple months in growth and it's not even that deep but the runners you know nothing like a kaiku you can just uh it's it's a very it's a lot smaller it's still very strong and you can see how the clover is just trying to come up through it and it's having a bit of a hard time but uh yeah you really want to make sure that uh, you take out as much of that kaiku or your original turf as you can so it doesn't come through in this particular case you know forked out the majority of it and then went over another two or three times with the fork just trying to go deep and just trying to find any any uh staggling bits of uh kaiku that i could the other thing to note is in my first video, I sort of know, I sort of show how the, the downpipe is 
uh, sort of spewing onto the garden bed. So now that's all gone under the soil and there's a bit of a depression where the water leaks out. So it's all irrigating this, self-irrigated. Uh, yeah, you don't want to step there when it's uh, too wet because you'll sink through, but, you know, just trying to keep the water on the land. It's the name of the game. Uh, thank you for your time today and uh, we'll see you around.